Every week, restaurant staff have to do physical counting of all existing stock to double check that your physical inventory count matches the theoretical stock count displayed on your POS. This process is called a stock take. A stock take is performed regularly to ensure your inventory is well managed, that costs are tracked, and resource consumption is kept in check. In this video, we'll learn how to create a stock take through your SAPOD POS inventory management system. Let's begin. To start a stock take, head over to Inventory at the top and select your desired location. Click on Stock Takes, then press the New Stock Take button. From here, you should now see the list of all the ingredients kept in stock. You can also review stock by category by choosing the category from the top left drop-down menu. Under the Count column, input the counted amount of each item. If you wish to cancel your current stock take, you can press the Cancel button located at the bottom left side of the screen. If you want to conduct a stock take later on, click on the Save button located on the bottom right. Once you're done with the stock take, simply press on the Submit for Review button. Once a stock take is completed, it has to be reviewed before changes will reflect on your POS. To review a stock take, go to the Under Review tab and click the Review button next to the stock take you wish to check. Double check if the quantities reported are correct and that there are no stock differences. You can override any count value by simply typing in the correct amount on the corresponding count. If you feel like the stock take has to be performed again due to inventory counting errors, press the Reject button found on the lower left side of the screen. If the stock take is complete and accurate, you can press the Complete button on the lower right. Only completed stock takes can be used to reconcile inventory changes later on. When a stock take is completed and reviewed, any changes in existing inventory will reflect your stock on hand only after stock take records are reconciled. To update your inventory based on your latest stock take, head over to the Completed tab. From here, press the Open button next to the stock take that you wish to use as a basis for your next inventory count. On the rightmost column, checkboxes will appear next to items with stock discrepancies. Select the checkboxes for items you wish to reconcile, or simply select the Auto Reconcile checkbox at the top of the column to select all items. Double check that your stock take is accurate, because once a stock take is reconciled, it cannot be deleted. When you're done selecting which items to reconcile, click on the Auto Reconcile button on the lower right portion of your screen. Your inventory should now be updated based on your stock take, Note that you can give access rights and permissions to specific users on your account. These users will be able to review and reconcile your stock takes on a regular basis. And there you go. You've successfully learned how to create, review, and reconcile an inventory stock take. Want to learn more? Click on the link below to book a demo.